Musicality Monday, and I'm here with Tony Romano and Heather Cornell. Um, Tony and I are going to be teaching together in week four of my labs, and we'll be teaching composition. So composition, what is composition for a tap dancer? Um, what we wanted to talk about today was a little bit of, of the music behind how we, as tap dancers, compose. Because since, uh, since we're playing rhythm all the time, we are playing music. So we are responsible for composition when we're creating, whether we're choreographing, improvising. And you had a great thing that you wanted to say about composition. Yeah, we were talking earlier about uh, the idea of composition is really improvisation slowed down. Um, as improvisers, you know, we're always creating uh, phrases um, and uh, things that fit together, or we should be, and so that when, you, when you're improvising over a form, you have some kind of cohesion, you know, that it's not just a bunch of random things. There's got to be a composition with, with inside the uh, improvisation. And it's really the same. When you're composing, you're doing the same thing. You're creating something in an improvisatory way and following that thread so that you have some type of, um, you know, repetition so that it makes it a tangible uh, thing that you can you, your ears can latch on to. Yeah, okay, so so when we work at the labs, what we're going to be doing when we're working on composition is ex exactly the kinds of things that Tony was talking about. We're going to be going further in depth with musical concepts that are, are in play and are necessary for any uh, creation of a, of a piece or for any improvisation. So one of the things that Tony just talked about was repetition. And repetition is a really important. You want to talk a bit about repetition? Sure. Um, any kind of uh, music that you know in your ears that you're, you know, you can hum a melody to, sing the words to. It doesn't matter if it could be jazz, uh, classical music, rock, pop, reggae, it doesn't matter. There's some kind of repetition which is what allows your ears to digest what you're, what you're listening to. Um, without the repetition, it, it just becomes random. So, you know, certain avant-garde type music, you know, use that term, might be more random and it's, you don't walk away humming the melody, right? Exactly. But, but so, like, but if you listen to, you know, if you, uh, a jazz standard that you know, for instance, or a rock or pop tune, you, you can hear it once and you immediately start to latch on to that. And there's usually some type of repetitive phrase and then the phrase varies or develops. So you just saw, I think, our tango. Um, Tony wrote this tune uh, called Tango. And when we perform it on stage, um, I perform it with, with uh, in sand first, then he takes a solo and then I come back and performing wood. When we do that on the CD, we were able to do it wood, sand, and tap because magically I could change my shoes very quickly. <laughs> and one of the reasons why that works to have those three different components or those three different um, uh, sonic differences um, wood, which is very warm, sand, which is, has a longer note, and tap, which is more percussive, is because of repetition. Without the repetition, it would not work. It would just be random sounds. But what draws, what pulls it all together in those three sections is the repetition. So Tony's just going to show you musically a little bit of repetition in the tune tango. Sure. Um, so in the beginning, the first phrase is... And then it's followed up the second phrase... Repetition rhythmically and all the notes except the last note, so it cadences. Unresolved. And then the next phrase develops it just a little bit. So those three tie together, and then there's a fourth one. Um, so the whole thing together, those that first section, first four parts. Digesting the melody. And if 
you go back and you watch the way I was sand dancing to that, you'll see that I'm using repetition as well. So I have a, a, a step that's... And that's basically the theme for the entire section, is that simple little, um, little theme. Um, and then I vary it, and I repeat it, and I, I shift where I'm doing it in the, in the meter, in the bar line, and I shift the way that I'm playing it. So it's all based on that one little tiny motif, basically. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna be doing with you throughout this week is we're gonna talk, we're, we're gonna be working with this theme of, of repetition, but we're gonna give you a few uh, exercises to work on that will give you um, a focus for your repetition because repetition is a huge thing. You repeat, well, there's so many things you can do with it musically. So we'll give you a few exercises tomorrow, if you come back tomorrow, when you come back tomorrow, and um, it'll give you a little key into how to pl start playing around with repetition so that it stays really exciting and current and doesn't get boring, because repetition is not boring, it's actually a tool of music. Mm -hmm. We're good for, mm -hmm. we'll see you tomorrow.